Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to this video tutorial. Today we are going to discuss components of PCR. We already have discussed about PCR. What is this technique and uh, what is the science behind the discovery of PCR? And also what are the uses of PCR in which fields we are using PCR. So if you want to know and get information about these topics, you can check my videos. You can also find the links in the description of this video. So let's start components of PCR. In PCR, we use actually six main components uh, or six main things that we need to have while doing PCR. First is template DNA. Uh, template DNA. Second one is DNA polymerase. Third one is primers. Fourth one is DNTPs. Fifth one is magnesium ions. And sixth one is buffer. These are actually the main components that we are using uh, while doing PCR. So let's join and to discuss about all these components in detail one by one. Starting with DNA template. Template DNA is actually the fragment or the region of the specific part of the DNA that we need to amplify by, uh, by using PCR. We have extracted DNA and uh, uh, in that DNA, um, the whole genome is present, but our gene of interest or the region that we want to amplify is also present in that DNA. So, uh, a first step is to choose the template DNA on which you are running PCR. Suppose uh, this is the region that is need to be copied and in this region of uh, DNA, we have our gene of interest like like this we have our gene of interest and we want to amplify this dna how we amplify uh, this dna if just we have template dna we can't do this so we need further components next component that we need is primers Primers are actually the uh, short nucleotides or oligonucleotides that we need to exact positioning the starting and end point of our DNA to be amplified. If we don't have primers, how can we uh, suggest that from where we want to amplify and where we want to end the amplification? So primers are actually oligonucleotide uh, fragments that are of about 18 to 25 nucleotide base pairs. And uh, the, these, these primers actually provide us five, uh, three prime end because uh, elongation always takes place in five to three direction. If we don't have uh, uh, three prime end, we can't amplify or we can't polymerize. Or you can say amplification cannot be possible. So amplification is always possible in five to three direction. And primers provide us three OH, free three OH group on which further elongation took place. So DNA template and primer. First is DNA template and second is primer. Along with these two components, we further need DNA polymerase. DNA polymerase, uh, we already discussed about uh, polymerase in our first video. You can check that in this section. But uh, let me shortly explain. Polymerase is actually the enzyme that is necessary for the polymerization or you can say for the amplification purpose. Uh, it is heat stable DNA polymerase enzyme which helps in amplification or polymerization. Without this enzyme, amplification could not start even though we have three prime end, but without polymerase enzyme, we can't start the PCR reaction. So it is necessary. Okay. So along with DNA template and primers, we also need polymerase enzyme. DNA polymerase enzyme actually attached and it helps in polymerization in five to three direction, like this way. Now we have template DNA, we have primer, and we also have DNA polymerase. Can we start polymerization? No, until we have some building blocks. And these building blocks are DNDPs. These building blocks are necessary for amplification. 
that's why along with dna template primer dna polymerase enzyme we need some dntps to amplify and after that we can get our result like this is the amplification of our dna after primers attachment this is the primers region and after primers attachment uh, primers give us uh, three oh group and uh, after dna polymerase attachment we can get amplification this is the amplification by adding dntps but to maintain these main components we further need buffer and magnesium ions buffer actually maintain the proper conditions of pcr like uh, proper ph and optimal conditions and magnesium ions these actually helps to ensure the function of dna polymerase enzyme because dna polymerase enzyme works in the presence of magnesium ion and magnesium ion works as a cofactor for the dna polymerase during pcr so magnesium ions actually ensures the proper functioning of dna polymerase enzyme so that we can get proper uh, properly good synthesized dna or good amplification product we are using pcrs in many fields in research in forensic and uh, testing criminal testing etc so we uh, we have very big issues for uh, getting our results of pcr uh, because of uh, different concentration of magnesium chloride because proper magnesium chloride concentration and proper concentration of uh, tag polymerase is necessary for proper functioning of pcr so scientists actually provide us convenience by making master mix tube in master mix tube four components are present thermostable dna polymerase dntps reaction buffer magnesium chloride ions these all components are present in one tube that we call as pcr master mix tube and uh, for pcr experiment we just need to add any template primers and master mix in our pcr tubes and enter our pcr tubes in mr cycler i mean uh, thermocycler machine and then start the uh, button of pcr so after running the pcr we can get results so actually master mix pcr master mix uh, which already have these components so so we don't have to add all these components separately in our pcr tube we just have to add specific amount of master mix and pcr tube here our today's lecture ended allah hafiz